Right, I've taken some lovely pictures from up here. Um, sometimes, I'm, sometimes I'm using the other camera. The smaller one. Which is handy when I want to keep the video running. This was um, fenced off for the public because they're building another track down through there. So, that's the old barn there. That's old, isn't it? Look at that stone walling on that. But I've just held it back a little bit because there's a very noisy family. They can't help it. It's basically what it is. It's three kids all under sort of 13. Say, 9 to 13 age group. I can hear them now in the distance. I've just given them a head start. <sighs> What I'm doing, I'm intermixing with the camera, so when, what happens when I get back to putting everything together, I've got to remember that I, some of the photos are on the other camera. Now, they are cutting back a lot of this ash dye back. Um, so they're, they're doing quite a lot of uh, invasive work. But I've got some great pictures of this place in the spring and the autumn, when the other trees, are, their leaves are changing colour. So, um, yeah, there'll be a mixed match of photos, but roughly quite syncing with each other, really. I think I've even done one video on the small camera, which can do videos. But it's got the flash facility, which is handy when it's a bit darker for the photographs. It's got a flash facility. I've already had to change a battery for the big camera. They are definitely on the way out, these um, batteries. Yeah, so I'm, um, I'm enjoying this. I, that was, what was handy about having my van was I could park up and do other, ex I could spend time say, exploring just this area and it wouldn't matter about time or having to get back to, to a bus stop. You know, um, because there's lots of little paths that lead off uh, where you can wander off, um, especially down on the bend, around the bend here. There's a path that goes up. I thought about doing that once. I don't. I might have even done it. It looked really pretty. But um, oh, I'm keeping on the main course today that I planned. So I've noticed quite a few groups of people out. Um, and that family that passed me, they changed their mind. They had gone the other way and then they turned back. But I could hear them miles back. <sighs> They're excited. They're out in the countryside. It's normal. It's normal. I've had my own children that age. And I can remember when they used to be bored. Oh, this is boring. <clears throat> and grumpy when they were teenagers. <laughs> They probably realised I was help, trying to help them, though, you know, back then. I should be over on, there's a path going down that way, and there's a path going up, and that's the one I'll be doing, going up, in a minute, not down. I'll be going up over there, turning around, and you get a lovely view, some more views of the hill fort. And of course, in all this sort of area, you're going to get wildlife. Um... It's all, look, see all the, at the moment, all the bracken, all the ferns are quite dead. Um, it hasn't arrived yet, what I call, you know. Do you know what I mean? This, this is still early in the season. This is just the 16th of April and things will go crazy very soon. And all these trees will be out in full bloom very soon. This is where it comes in handy, because I can open the camera up now. Take some pictures of here. And these lovely ferns. In a minute, there's a track going up. I, I don't know whether I've done it or not. I can see fencing there. We might not be allowed to go that way, you know. They might have fenced it off. Might not be allowed, I don't know. It's when they're doing work.
Yeah, these, this in the autumn, this this area is absolutely gorgeous. I can hear those kids. Don't know if the camera pick it up. They're screaming. They might have gone that way. No, it's like we can go through. God. Yeah, that's a that's a, a route that would be interesting to explore. And that is absolutely gorgeous. I've got some absolutely magnificent images around here when the colour's out. But it's good to see it without the colour, without the leaves. To see it in the raw. Yeah, it is good. Because okay, so by having both cameras available, I can do keep the camera rolling if you like. Not having to keep stopping and switching it off. I mean, I'm turning it off mainly for taking photos, but then it also have to turn it off. There's too many people about, or put it on standby. The only thing about the little camera, you can't put it on zoom for photos. You can for video. It comes out white and yellow. It needs adjusting probably because I had this, I had that trouble with this camera once. Look at that lovely view though. Isn't that beautiful? Of course I've got the viewfinder on this one you see. On the little one there's no viewfinder. So I have to get, you can't even see when you're taking the picture. Once you've had a camera with a viewfinder, you, you, you don't want to go back to one which is just plain. But it will still take a picture. So, from that point of view it's good. Bit of wind coming up now. God, I've been so pleased to get out, you know. I don't think I did this part of the wood at all last year. We're talking about over a year since I've done this walk. This particular walk. It could even be two years. I'd have to look back in the video diary to see when I last done it. Now that one's got number 11 written on it. Makes you wonder, or 18, whether that's going to be for the chop. Nice looking tree though. Tall ferns. Don't forget this was mining country. These are all relatively new. They grow very fast, these sort of trees. On it. Just zoom in over there. It looks like Maggie. Hello. Lovely Annette. So I'm videoing. I don't think I've got you on. So I right, don't mind because you're part of the hills. Right, right over there. You can see the hill fort. Like a V. The bosom. That's the hill fort, there look. And there's cows there. Beef could be beef cattle. Yeah, it's five months. I have been up there about five months ago. Five, six months ago. There's a group of people walking over there. They've What I'll do, I will turn the big camera off in a minute so I can do some zoom photos with it. I'll just use this carry on here. I just love this walk, you know. Just met two people. I don't know if they came on the video, but you do get um, horse riders around here. And there's the way if you want to go to the hill fort on that. And obviously, as you know, I've done it all. 
I've done it all. And these are all little Christmas trees that new Christmas tree has been planted. You know where to come to get your tree. <laughs> all that grain that's down there will change colour very soon. It, April reminds me a bit of like November really when you get that change or end of November you get that change into winter now this is going to be coming out into summer very similar in many ways temperatures very similar as well especially at the moment right so I'll just zoom in again to the hill fork because it'll disappear into the far distance very soon as we move away there's a very good image of it though with the cows big herd right over in the distance right over there you've got um, the hill fort of Western Supermare I think that's Western Supermare hill fort right over there there. Right, I'm going to turn off now for a minute folks to take a picture of the um, hill fort over and out